Hey man, it's the ISO God Sensei, the greatest on 2K in existence. And listen up, man. They saying Gym Rat is gone, but don't worry. There's a new way to get your Gatorade boost permanently. I'm gonna tell you exactly how to max out your badges as quick as possible before the game even comes out. Leak, 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 leak. I'm gonna tell you how to rep up the fastest before the game even comes out. <laughs> leak, leak, leak. You can animation glitch on 2K24? They saying this is the most balanced builder of all times? Dribbling is this and that? Look, before we get into all that, y'all make sure y'all subscribe if you are new. Help me hit 276K.5. We are like one subscriber away. Be that lucky subscriber. And make sure y'all hit that goddamn like button. It helps young swan grow. So look, right here he says, Gym Rat is gone. W. Got tired of playing them 40 games. Whatever, too much time. He's saying all you gotta do is do your perfect workouts in the gym and you get the extra turbo boost for the week. And the turbo boost can be earned permanently later on. I'm gonna tell y'all how to get them permanently later on. Gatorade training facility. Leak, 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 leak. I don't know what this means. He said the under the hood boost were real. Confirm. Hey, the wolf. He's saying the right stick ripper. Y'all remember 2K17? They had to patch it because it was so broken. We figured it out. Hopefully it's not as broken, okay? Because steals are RNG, man. You know? You know, steal. You know, if you play a little defense, get a little bumpy, you should be able to get the steal. But just going up to someone, flicking it once, that is not, that's not realistic, my boy. And it reduces the skill gap dramatically. In real basketball, you can size up your opponent. Steals do not happen like that <laughs> in real life. Okay, so look, here the animation glitch. Leak, 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 leak. <laughs> when you choose an NBA player template, basically a stock build, okay, that you're gonna spend 150 plus 150 on. If you do that, you won't get the animations already equipped to your 60 overall player. Now I'm thinking, my genius brain, hack and swan, hack and swan, cheese and swan, cheese and swan. My genius brain is thinking that when you use some of these template builds, some of the SIGs might be hidden on later. For instance, like if you do a template of curry, you might have access to the curry slide before it comes out later in the season. Same with Trey Young and other people and then you might not even need to meet the actual like say one of the nba players one of their sigs are very amazing and god tier right you might not have to actually reach the stats and then you'll still get that sig you feel me maybe who knows i'm, I'm, I'm sure it's gonna be some type of you know like most people they'll probably have to reach certain quotas to get certain sigs but maybe with some of these NBA template builds, you won't have to do that. But I'm sure all those builds are gonna be horrible, so be very careful. I also heard that they were in 18 and 19. I don't know that, someone tell me down below. But look, it's a recommendation from a dev. So it's like, they're bots, they're NPCs, they're not good at the game. So like, just, I mean, it's good, it's, it's good for kids. You know, because I see a lot of kids with crazy builds out there. No speed, no stamina. <laughs> Yo, all they do is got their three up. Damn, they got no playmaking. Like, <laughs> they just got, they duck and they three up. <laughs> so, I mean, that'll be good for them. But in general, you look to Swan for the builds. You see, even 60 overall. Let's see if there's a difference. What should matter more for badge progression in city and park games, wins and losses? Look, teammate grade, th this is how the community is filled with NPCs. Guys, if you're watching this video, please go vote and pick wins and losses. I don't care what you think. Teammate grade makes people play fake, not realistic. It's not a natural flow. Basketball is a flowy sport. You shouldn't have to, hey, come next to me. Look, all this is gonna create, it's not gonna make people play more like a team. It's going to make people do stupid stuff. Like, hey, let's not play how we want to play and you come here and let's throw passes back and forth so I get my teammate grade. Let's force a alley-oop. Let's, let's, hey, set the screen so I can get the teammate grade and 
And then this is going to be every teammate on your team trying to get a high teammate grade. So it's not and it's it's not smart. And then like when you play comp, you got to you can't really go into a form of trying to have a high. You have to play comp. Wins and losses should matter. The people who can win and lose should always be over anything else, bro. Those people should be rewarded. Da -da. Be because then even 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 when you play with randoms, it encourages people to care about the game. A lot of the randoms, they don't be caring because they're like, man, I'm only in here for my badges. I don't really care. I got my teammate great. I'm going to get my rep. I'm going to get my badges. So then it's, it's like... You know, they're not really trying to win. They don't care. They're going to ball hog, whatever, because that win and loss don't really matter. But look, he's saying high teammate grades are harder in park, and this is accounted for in the badge progression system. A B minus is actually solid average grade in these games, and an A plus currently gives you a 20 boost. A win is 15% and a loss is minus 10. That's the formula. So look. He asked, why can't we keep multiple badges in its full potential? He says, because then you have 40 to 50 plus badges and that's OP basically. So that's their way to make people not have as many badges. But if you go to my career, you can really come out there with all them badges, bro. Like, So that's really making people play the game way more than usual. That could be a marketing method because they want us on this whole it's good for their marketing dollars and stuff. And I don't know, man, that, that could be very annoying, to be honest. Like, say you, like, right before you go play stage, you go and make sure you get all your badges maxed to their full capability. That could be really annoying. I don't know. We're, we're going to have to see. For Rec, I already told y'all, please go vote wins and losses, guys. Look, people don't care. Currently in the Rec, an A-plus teammate grade can give you a 25% boost. Anything lower than a D plus, you a 35% hit or more. Wait, what? Wins will give you a 10% boost, losses a 5% hit. Oh, 35, okay, hit. Each grade has a different multiplier. Yep, there's no badge points, man. So whatever your attributes say you can get, you can actually get that. But can you keep that up? Teammate grade has been adjusted. So you don't get their player model or face scan. I think they should actually have that as rewards. Getting NBA players uh, face scans and player models and stuff, that would be really dope. I don't know why they haven't done this, actually. So if you got the height and the attributes, you can get whatever badge you qualify for. 6'8 and 6'9 builds, he's saying they ain't the meta. Said they could do middle many things, but at an average to good level, not great. Yeah. Six eight six nines nerfed. Leak 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 leak. There's a rust build template, bro. I know they gonna do them dirty, dog. So they not trying to have people use the same type of build this year, man. They put way more effort into fixing that. New resident gameplay and build master. So I guess Wolf done took uh Demi's position or some. Damn, Demi, they done figured you out. <laughs> they done got a 2K league lockdown replace, y'all boys. See, look, this is what I mean. It's a choice. If 24 comes out and it's legit and the build system is a certain way and the game plays a certain way, Wolf is a normal person. He's not no coder. He's not no damn, uh, what, 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 uh, they ain't get, he ain't get no degree. Boy, he was a gamer. So if it's a choice, like I've been telling y'all, now they got a comp guy in there, they might start listening, you know? They, you know, they have a different aspect. I don't really know, like, what his thoughts are if he's like, you know, oh, we gotta make it for casuals and all that type of stuff. But if he's really pushing the type of stuff I would like and other comp players would like, that is better for the whole game. A lot of people, they, they don't realize just in general a lot of casuals it's it's like a kid wanting to eat candy all day it's not good for them. what comp players want is is good for the community <laughs> most balanced builder of all times and we got a bunch of new archetype names archetype naming system names are descriptive as possible hey i heard from a lot of people that went to community day too that the build names are crazy look he's saying this is favorite badge it's basically dexing right 
This badge is fire. One of my favorites for some of the devs. Uh, looks like they done brought Dexon back. I don't know, man. How is post drop step badge? It needs a buff. Look, hold on. Let's, let's block you. What is he talking about? I work on the post and I assure you that badge does not need a buff. Thank you. Let's, let's give you a like, my boy. He said we can always adjust. So they say when you do the template, it's just for that build, basically. Oh, so he trying to break some animations are only available for that build slash save layups are green or miss right now when you're wide open the whole meter turned green my boy so there's no way you can miss that wide open pretty similar to 23 speed will ball and acceleration this is very important when y'all making y'all builds speed will ball controls things like raw movement speed while running slash sprinting acceleration controls how fast you explode with your first step so it's kind of like the same thing people said they was going to fix this but they'll probably make speed will ball matter more in some way so be careful when you make your builds dog i'm the build god i will will guide you in the right place pro touch makes the green window bigger duh damn don't tell me they done fired demi turned him into a community manager <laughs> they done figured out that boy cap hold on so the templates aren't carbon copies of their nba counterparts as far as competitive ratings go c hoops wolf optimized them to be competitive options using the nba ratings as a mold and max to 99 custom builds hey man look my builds will always be better than their builds bro be careful hey see look guys listen listen these devs hear me every year i'm heard y'all niggas be man all this all this and that bro the fact that he put this cheese symbol on this stand and dunk stuff literally shows you that they be hearing me i'm like the only person who been tweeting at them and telling them that and saying in my videos that stand and dunks are broken they've been broken and you know like even if they don't directly answer me they'll find someone else with the same question and answer them bro i'll be, I'll be trying to tell y'all you know so he not that, that's good stand and dunk meter make sure make sure to balance that because stand and dunks are broken and when i say stand and dunks are broken i'm not even talking about bigs i'm talking about guards the six one through like six nine guards stand-in dunks for them are broken bro like it's it's real it's real cheese bro like <laughs> y'all just haven't faced it dog i'm trying to tell you every year they're standing dunk cheese is you know and if they really nerf limitless takeoff you cannot stop that standing dunk cheese dog with like a real like a real sweat you're done it's mad hard with like how paint defense is so again scoring even though it's the most important thing in basketball people always hating on scorers but their favorite player is a scorer makes sense right they be hating on ball hogs but their favorite player is a ball hog makes sense right <laughs> they be hating on iso but their favorite player is an iso player look you can get high a's without even scoring at all but you sit there and score all 21 22 23 zero turnovers right zero missed shots and you won't have an a plus you'll almost grade out but you are the ultimate teammate i don't like that if i'm playing perfect reward me give me an a plus scoring should matter on the teammate grade way more like y'all bro I am the team. I made the team win. You feel me? A plus me, my boy. Do you know how hard that is to do? It's way harder to play like that than to get assist, all this and all that. Like, come on, bro. Y'all got to stop hating on the skilled players. It's getting old. <laughs> I'm having enough. <laughs> I'm having enough. Stop hating. So he's saying the dunk meter works the same as 23, but when you're wide open, it's pretty big. The green window but not as big as the green window for the layups but if you're trying to catch bodies on multiple defenders it shrinks pretty small 
Okay. Layup meter off. Boost the green window size like shots. Oh, what? I didn't know about this. Oh, that's a game changer. 20% though? Nah, we gotta figure that out. That might be broken. If it's a 20 per if it's a 20 if you have the the actual layup timing and then the no meter, bro, layups might be broken, bro. Leak, 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 leak. You'll make up way more layups with uh layup timing on. So if you miss time a wide open layup, um, you're probably an MB NPC. Mm, so people are overhyping whistle. They saying it sounds scary, but probably more useful in my career than comp game. It do sound scary. NBA games against the AI. Okay. Yeah, you know that's scary. Will I still be losing the ball when players are on their way down after biting on a pump fake? That is so annoying, bro. Bro, I hate when someone mistimes they jump. I take it up and they still get the block, bro. It's so bad. <laughs> it didn't used to be like that in older 2Ks, bro. Like... There is more predictability with it. Now it's just like, sometimes they get it, sometimes they don't. And it's, it's so annoying, bro. There's no skill to it. This aspect of the game is much better now. If you get the defender to bite on a fake, then start a shot while he's in the air, you'll draw a foul shot animation if he's very close or in contact with you. Bro, that's big. Man, hopefully, bro. I mean, we'll, we'll see, bro. So the new dribble emotes you could do in the park shoot arounds. That's a W. So here's Mike Wang's new favorite pro play jump shots. They even had Zach Levine come in and mocap, but the pro play shots still looked better. So pro play greater than mocap? Pro play is given 400 sig jumpers and 500 advanced shots more than any 2k hopefully they useful hopefully that sound dope now look this r1 l1 this is an l that they took this away and they're only doing it for um like my career but it's not team modes that's lame if you play like everything because then it's like like, I don't have a problem with them doing this. If you want to do this, go ahead. But make it the same everywhere. Like, because if I play play now, and I'm like, oh, I can still R1, L1. But then I'm used to not doing it. It messes up your head. And then you get used to it. And then you can't do it when you go and uh, play like rec or something that's lame. You got to make it the same everywhere. Most people don't even know R1, L1, really. Like. 80% of the base doesn't know like how to do R1 L1. It's really only uh decent players. You can still skip pass. Hey, I broke the builder. Go check it out in this video. But hey, hey, here we go again. Yeah. Here we go again. People talking this, but when this hit the fan, everything I'm at made me now break it down. Yo. Off the top of the dome, dome.